Hi Henry. I hear a lot about social engineering and phishing but I still do not understand what it is. Can you explain it? Let me give you an example to make it easier. Let us say I want to trick you into believing that I am authorized to make changes to your computer system. That sounds spooky. How would you do that? I could start by searching online for companies that have implemented work from home. Or I can pretend to be from a local newspaper and simply call the front desk and under the story of doing a report on home office ask them. As soon as I find a company with a home office policy, I start searching for employees of that company and I find your profile. Okay, now it is getting interesting. But I still have to trick you into believing me so I find a couple of more people from your company so I can casually drop their names to make you believe it is all legit. And I need two or three names from people in the IT department. How does that help you? I would for example call you and tell you that I am from the IT department and mention some names you might know, or say so and so give me the instruction to call you. And casually mention that I just completed the same for another person in your company, mentioning their name. Or I could drop you an email with a similar story and using information I collected from the internet to make you believe this is all okay. I can imagine that people fall for that but what does it bring you? For example I can convince you to install a program that puts your computer under my control while you believe that you are doing something which is needed for the company. Or convince you to send me confidential information which I can use later on. How can I protect myself and my company against this? Step 1 is to double check and questions everything. Step 2 is the callback method. Do not allow someone access to your system. Instead call the IT department directly and ask for a confirmation. And step 3 ask yourself why. Why should you suddenly do something entirely different from your normal way of working? Why should you install something yourself when normally the IT department does that? Things like that. Stay alert. Be cyber smart. <laughs>